I will show you how to open a combination lock like this. This is a three digit combination lock, but the same method can be used for four digit lock as well. Note that trying all possible options for a three digit combination lock would take about half an hour, but uh, trying all possible op options for a four digit lock would take about five hours. First, you need to push down the body of the lock, so you put some pressure on the shackle and then you start spinning the, the digits and try to find which is the one that's hardest to spin. In this case, this is the bottom digit, so I will start looking for the correct number on that digit. So you are trying to look for a click sound and when it's hard to rotate uh, at some numbers, so in, you know, at the number 2 it is quite hard to rotate. Uh, but I will release the pressure and go on to another number and see again if it is only that number that's hard to rotate on. Now I put pressure on the uh, lock body again. And there's a click sound on the 4. I release again. And yeah, click sound on the two. But it is easier to rotate from the four than from the two. It's, it's much harder. So my guess is then the number two is the last digit. Now you repeat the same process for the other two digits. You try to look for the uh, digit which is harder to, rot to, to spin, in this case this is the middle one, now always make sure that the last one stays on 2, start to look for the one digit that's, hard, that's uh, either you hear a click sound or you cannot rotate anymore, this is 7 here, but I will release again and put pressure to see if there is other moves from the 2, make sure that you always put it back on the 2. So the 7, the 7 is harder to move from. I, it, I cannot really rotate it from that. So it should be 72 for the last two digits. And then for the first digit, now you only need to try 10 tries. So you know that this is 72, and you try every other possible options. That takes 10 tries. And in this case, this is 572.